the stock in focus is Equitas, uh, decided to bite the bullet and list its small finance bank arm as soon as possible. This after the RBI denied to extend the deadline for the listing. Uh, joining us now to talk about why they sought the extension in the first place and how would now the situation unfold uh, is the MD and CEO, Mr. P. and Vasudevan. Mr. Vasudevan, good having you. Thanks for taking the time out. Unfortunately, you didn't get the permissions that you sought. What happens next, sir? Yeah, so just to give you a quick feedback, quick background, you know, we are uh, we were licensed as an SSB and as per part of our licensing conditions, we are required to list the bank within a period of three years. And for in our case, the three year actually came to an end uh, a few days back on 5th of September, a few days back. Uh, but it is not that uh, we were not aware of it. We were working on it through a various uh, different methods of getting it listed. Uh, and, uh, you know, basically we have a holding company which is listed. And the holding company owns 100% of the bank. Uh, so, and the holding company has no other business activity of its own. Uh, so, our objective was to try and see how do we have only one listed entity for which is for, for basically only one essential business, which is a bank business. So, we try to get the RBA to approve the merger of the holding company, the bank, so that we will have only one listed entity, and uh, the bank will be getting listed in the process. But uh, that was not approved basically because uh, the, promote, the holding company is deemed to be the promoter of the bank and the promoter has a five-year lock-in period for 40% of the stake in the bank. So because there's a lock-in period, uh, obviously RBI was not able to approve our uh, request for merger of the holding company of the bank. So once that was clear that that's not possible, then our, in, our effort was still to see how do we uh, protect the interest of the public shareholders of the holding company because they have all bought shares in the holding company looking at the bank because the whole co itself doesn't have a business. So they were actually looking for valuation from the bank, value deriving from the bank. So our next effort was to see how do we try and protect the interest of the public shareholders of the whole co. And so we came with a scheme of arrangement between the holding company and the bank whereby the bank would capitalize around 890 crores of its free reserves and issue shares without cash consideration to the shareholders of the whole co and then seek the, to get those shares listed in the exchanges. So this scheme was approved by the board sometime in the end of January of this year and subsequent to that we applied to SEBI for approval. This requires a prior approval from SEBI before we move the NCLT for uh, the other approvals mm. because there is a requirement to list the shares without doing an IPO and that requires a specific approval of SEBI before we can even go to the court for approval. Uh, and there is again a small deviation in that because the SEBI guidelines does not exactly cover the scheme of arrangement that we have set out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so that's a call that SEBI has to take whether they want to approve it or not. And uh, and that approve that feedback from SEBI is still awaited as on date. Yeah. And that is why we actually missed our deadline of 5th September to list the shares. Uh, but we do hope that uh, SEBI will give the feedback very, very shortly from now. And if they approve it, then we will go through the NCLT and get the scheme approved by the court and get the shares listed in that process. In case uh, SEBI turns down our request for the scheme of arrangement, then we will just do an IPO and uh, get the shares listed of the bank. So either which process in our estimation is a six months process, so whether it is through the scheme of arrangement or direct uh, through an IPO, we hope to get the shares of the bank listed uh, at least by March 2020. Okay. Uh, so also let's talk about um, whether or not there's any clarity that you're anticipating from RBI uh, with regards to its on-tap guidelines or anything with regards to reverse merger and how soon are you expecting that? And will, uh, will your approach uh, to getting the small finance bank listed change? Because when we spoke to uh, the management at Ojeeman Finance, while they have taken the route of the IPO, they were waiting for some clarifications from the RBI and they said that they'll take it on further as it goes. If there is something that comes out, they may even change the approach from uh, uh, the IPO route. Yeah, in our case, actually, we already applied for the scheme. So mm. in Ojeeman's case, they had not applied for a scheme. So they are probably waiting for some clarification, maybe. But in our case, actually, we have applied for an approval for the scheme itself. And uh, so once that scheme application is uh, decided by SEBI either which way, that will determine the route of, uh, you know, co course of action for us. Hmm. You said you were, you were intending to use about 890-odd crores to issue shares, uh, of, uh, to issue shares to shareholders of uh, the holding company. Uh, if at all uh, you do get a permission from the SEBI and you do go in through that route, 
post issuance so what will be uh, in, in uh, the free reserves with you so if that scheme gets approved and uh, we go through with it and nclt also approves it post that the 47% of the bank shares would be directly held by the shareholders of the holding company through this scheme and the remaining 53% would be held by the holding company that would be the revised to shareholding structure of the bank assuming the scheme goes through hmm. okay and you're saying that this is the timeline is not going to be more than 6 months any any yeah. reapproach to the sebi and you know it's it's been some time now uh, that the sebi uh, has uh, had this plea of yours with do you think it's a little more a question of precedence it's the first time that they're going to be taking a call like this and therefore the delay in the in their uh, judgment and what they believe uh, this route could be yeah very true i mean there is there's no precedence for a scheme of arrangement of the type that uh, we have uh, applied for and uh, of course in our case there are some redeeming features such as that we it's a bank and there is a certain regulatory requirement from rbi for the bank to comply with so there is some redeeming features which is what we were uh, hoping that you know it might tilt the scale in our favor but yes you are right it's actually a precedence call that sebi is uh, required to take and naturally that they need to go through from different perspectives before they can take a decision on this and that's why probably it's taken uh, this time but uh, we do hope that uh, you know we do get the feedback from sebi very shortly and uh, whichever be the decision of sebi basis that we would then take the next two steps mr vasudevan any negative implications uh, you know depending on the penalties that have been imposed on you well there are two penalties imposed on us one is that my salary is uh, you know frozen at the current level which is not an issue from the bank's perspective it doesn't impact the bank in any which way uh the second is that uh, new branch of opening is uh, uh, you know <laughs> cannot be done until further orders from said from rbi um in our case uh, you know actually we have invested quite strongly in our branch network over the last 3 years post becoming a bank and we have 400 branch uh, for the liabilities and over 600 for the asset uh, uh, which is our old ndfc branches and if you look at that kind of a branch network and if you compare Uh, other banks who have similar size of branch network and then look at their size we saw our size we are uh, actually still very small so we have a long way to go to leverage the current branch network and uh, our cost income was around 83% about a year back it's come down to 70% now and we still have to uh, leverage the existing branch network to reduce our cost income to maybe around 60 or under 60% so there is a lot of scope to grow the bank with the current infrastructure uh, so over the over the uh, you know medium term to long term uh, we would be able to sustain a strong growth with, even with our existing branch network and as i mentioned earlier this uh, re- restriction on branch opening is uh, you know a kind of aligned to our listing and we are very keen to list it's not that we are not keen or we are not uh, working at it we are working very hard at it and as i mentioned earlier it's just a question of time maybe another 6 months or so by which the listing should be completed either which way and uh, hopefully once uh, we are through with that uh, we do hope that rbi will remove this restriction and uh, so that this should not really impact the medium term business mr vasudevan just to follow up on that you would go ahead with the listing irrespective of whether the clarity on the reverse merger comes about or no right see at this point in time uh, that is not uh, really uh, an issue on the table at this point in time the issue on the table really is whether our scheme of arrangement uh, no i agree uh, whether No, the, sorry, sir. The reason I ask this to you only because, from a valuation perspective, the whole core discount widening or not would be also a factor on the clarity of the reverse merger or not. So I was just wondering uh, uh. if you would go ahead with the listing, irrespective of clarity on the reverse merger. Okay, okay. Actually, on the reverse merger, if you look at it, uh, the, there is a clarification issued by RBI a long time back, uh, which says that uh, you know a promoter of an SOP uh, could exit at the end of five years, subject yes, to true. you know. Uh, approval from rbi based on the regulatory comfort or discomfort at the point in time so that's a clarification issued by rbi earlier and we did seek a specific clarification again from rbi and rbi has reiterated that same clarification that you know any question of uh, any application for merger of the whole co with a bank uh, will be considered by rbi only at the end of 5 years so there's been a reiteration of that uh, from rbi to us 
and uh, so the at the end of 5 years definitely we are uh, in, it's available to us to apply for a reverse merger and uh, approval sub- is subject to rbs comfort or discomfort on the particular entity but uh, but the path is available to us to all of us actually all the sobs who are in our similar situation to apply for a reverse merger at the end of the fifth year of each of our operations yeah so you would go ahead with the listing irrespective of clarity on the reverse merger i guess in his, yeah. his, you yes. that that listing process is independent it'll happen yeah, in the six months okay absolutely this needs to be done immediately anyway. immediately okay great mr vasudhan good having you thank you so much for the clarity uh, appreciate you taking the time out thank you